2021 is here and it promises to be another massive year for energy efficiency, energy management and demand response. The drivers for energy and climate policy at the national level are changing dramatically, with the election of Joe Biden in the US and a cavalcade of net zero commitments from our major trading partners putting pressure on the federal government to ramp up its ambition ahead of a likely election in the second half of the year. There is plenty going on at the state level as well, with new policies, programs and stimulus investments focused on energy efficiency and demand management rolling out in states and territories right across the country. The long-awaited wholesale demand response mechanism will finally launch in October, and the broader energy market reform agenda continues to gather pace through the post-2025 process. This year, we at the Council will be staying on top of all that, as well as driving the debate with new reports on crucial topics like insulation, providing information and support to key economic segments like agribusiness, and launching new training programs that help build the capacity and capability of our sector. And of course, we're continuing to support our members through the ups and downs of COVID-19. Overall, we're doing well here in Australia. However, it's clear from the latest lockdown here in Melbourne that there will be a few bumps along the way for businesses in our industry. But overall, I'm entering this year with a great sense of optimism. Every day, the role of demand side as a core part of our economic recovery and our broader energy transition comes into sharper focus for Aussie businesses and governments. And here at the EEC, we're looking forward to working with you to make sure we keep building on that momentum in 2021.